Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today I want to talk about like the layoffs that are happening across the world. And this had me thinking, like, what's going to happen with the Phoenix real estate market that's happening across the United States? I mean, we have layoffs happening here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, Intel Corporation just announced that they're going to lay off 20% of the workforce here. Don't quote me on that number, but a little bird kind of flew in my shoulder and kind of told me that. Um, but also we have TSMC over here that's building a huge factory here in uh, North Phoenix as well. So they just added uh, another comment in the Phoenix Business Journal that they're actually gonna be building, um, adding to that $10 billion, another factory. So it's got my head scratching and thinking like, what's really gonna happen with the overall Phoenix real estate market? Because what's happening with the economy is there's a lot of layoffs. So with that being said, um, if you have not done so, Subscribe to the channel, click that like button um, as we're just giving you some home buyer tips, home seller tips, investment tips, and also the Phoenix real estate market updates. But uh, let's get into who's laying off across the United States and what I think might happen with the Phoenix real estate market. If it's going to continue to go down, if it's going to crash, if it's going to bust. Um, it's, it's hard to see what's going on around the mountain and into the forest because with all the layoffs happening, it's, it's got me thinking a little bit more of what might happen in our market. So like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, is the layoffs is what's kind of putting a different mindset on me on what's going to happen with the real estate market. And a couple companies here is, you know, Amazon is laying off um, 10,000 folks. Now, Arizona is big on Amazon warehouses. It's a big hub where Amazon's at. So how that's going to affect us, I'm not too sure yet. Um, also, you heard about Twitter. Uh, Twitter is laying off 4,400 employees as well. Um, offer up is laying off um, Meta, Facebook, 11,000 employees as well. I watch out for the don't trip behind you, baby. Um, sorry, that's my camera, camera woman, uh, Twitter, Amazon, uh, Peloton is actually as well. I mean, I'm going to go to the right. And then also a uh, Ford is laying off. So all these companies got me thinking like, what's really going to happen here in the real estate market? So even though we have a strong market here in Phoenix, Arizona, um, we have the Super Bowl coming in as well. And then we have golf, we have races, we have horses, and we have right now over 20,000 listings for sale. Um, what's really gonna happen with all these layoffs, you know, as an economy as a whole, I still like to think micro, but we have to look at the macro environment of what's really happening here as far as real estate across the United States. Right now, home prices are unaffordable here in Phoenix, Arizona, just because of the interest rates as well. Home prices are falling, but they're not falling as fast as they were when the market crashed for number one. Number two, interest rates are still high and it's affordability is hard for locals to actually come in and purchase a home. Even though we're seeing people still buy homes and sell homes, it's pretty unaffordable for, you could say, the average income earner here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna watch this data very, very closely, especially with Amazon and what's happening in our local environment. Like I said before, is we are micro and Arizona is strong. There's a lot of stuff happening in Arizona, but we also have to look at the macro environment as well. So one of the best websites I use to get interest rates is called Mortgage News Daily. They actually have a mobile app and Right now, interest rates as of today when I shoot this video are 6.65% that they have dropped since they've been at the highest point of over 7%. Um, so interest rates are coming down, should help the housing market a little bit, depending if they rise again. And of course, the federal, uh, the federal government is supposed to come, the Fed is supposed to talk again in December, and we're gonna see what they're gonna do as far as raising the federal funds rate and how that would affect um, mortgage interest rates. Now, as of today, I am looking, we have 20,651 um, homes for sale. That includes count condos, townhouses, single families, and inventory is high. If we look back previously a year ago, we only had like five to 7,000 listings for sale, homes available for people to buy. So is it a good time to buy a house right now? Only if you need to, because we're going to see maybe a 20 to 30% price decrease here in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, am I still selling real estate? Yes, I am. Has it slowed down to be honestly? Yes, it has. I just recently lost a listing in Mesa, Arizona. 
We had two showings in over 96 days and my seller decided to take it off the market and rent until wait till next year. We actually went to the game plan. And I said, hey, maybe we should wait till next year because the holidays, we're not getting a lot of traffic. Next year, hopefully rates will go down and we'll have more positivity in the market. Also, uh, I'm a big avid of getting information from local here. Uh, the Phoenix Business Journal is a great um, resource for you if you guys want to pay for that. And we have a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, one of the things that's happening right now is commercial construction has slowed down because we have a labor shortage. Um, we're seeing new construction with inventory and you would be surprised on the rates that they're trying to, that they are giving to home buyers who want to purchase a house in new construction. We're talking in the mid fours to high fours and maybe low to mid 5%. And they have a lot of inventory. So as we move into the micro market here in Phoenix, Arizona, I think new construction is going to be in a better position than resale market. Reason number one is a seller who needs to sell is going to sell. But a seller looking to sell doesn't really want to put their house on the market and sell and get back into the buying market at a higher interest rate because that's going to put them at a higher mortgage payment. So I see the influx of buyers coming in from out of state and people who really truly need to buy or people who really need to truly move up or downsize. That's why I think the home builders are going to be in a great position once the market tends to shift into a better uh, real estate market because they're going to have the inventory where people can come in and buy new construction at pretty decent prices at a lower interest rate and it's going to be a brand new house so with that being said i'm looking at arizona as a micro that arizona is still pretty strong and in the lead of what other cities and states might be but i also have to look at the macro with all the layoffs that's happening as well that's one thing I'm going to be watching what's happening with the stock market. You already know what happened with crypto, with the FTX and that happening, all that mess. And then now the real estate market and now all these layoffs that are being announced in Q4 going into Q1. So with that being said, if you want to learn more about what's happening in the real estate market here, number one, do us a favor. Hit that fist bump right there on the bottom right or left corner. I can't remember which way it's going to look when you're looking at this video. But if you hit that fist bump, it pushes out this video to other people so they can subscribe and like as well. Because definitely want to put this information out. And this is all about truthful real estate information about buying, selling, fixing, flipping, investing, whatever you may need to be. We've done it all here in Phoenix. And we love to be your guide, your vessel, your resource here in Phoenix, Arizona. So that being said, Victor Huerta, we'll see you guys on the next video.